Dan Garcia, and we're talking about arpeggios. This next arpeggio we're going to talk about is the sextuplet, and uh, that means we're going to fit three triplets into the beat. And let me show you how to do this. We're going to start with our bass note. Remember, thumb, always a rest stroke. And then we're going to lean it in the string right below the one we play. And now our fingers, we're going to play five notes to complete the sixth tuplet. So thumb, and we're going to start with index, middle, annular, back to middle, and then index. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just for the purpose of learning this, our index is going to play the third string, second string on the middle finger, first string on the annular finger. So we're going to play a simple A minor chord and Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So it's very important when we do arpeggios that our fingers don't hang out on the strings, meaning don't lean your fingers on the strings to wait and strike the strings, okay? Fingers should be always suspended in the air close to the strings, but not on the strings, okay? It's a common mistake because it feels safer to be right there, okay? But what happens is you don't let the guitar ring, okay? So, so the fingers should be only on the string to strike the string, okay? When it's not touching the string, you leave it off the string. So let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So have fun practicing your arpeggios.